Question 9, part A. Consider the geometric series 1 minus tan squared theta plus tan to the power of 4 theta minus dot dot dot. Part 1. When the limiting sum exists, find the value in simplest form. The first term of the geometric progression, a, is 1, and the common ratio, r, is negative tan squared theta. Now, the limiting sum is given by s infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r in brackets, or in fraction form, it's a over 1 minus r. So, substituting the values that we have here and here into the formula, we have s infinity is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus negative tan squared theta in brackets. Now we have a double negative here, so that turns it into a positive. So s infinity is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus tan squared theta. Now this is a Pythagorean identity and that's equivalent to sec squared theta. So s infinity is equal to 1 divided by sec squared theta and sec squared theta is 1 over cos squared theta. So you're taking the reciprocal of the reciprocal of cos squared theta. So that cancel out and we end up with cos squared theta. Therefore, the value of the limiting sum when it exists is cos squared theta. Part two, for what values of theta in the interval theta greater than negative pi over two and less than pi over two does the limiting sum of the series exist? The absolute value of the common ratio r must be less than 1 for a limiting sum to exist. In other words, the absolute value of negative tan squared theta must be less than 1. Now because we're taking the absolute value of a negative expression, the absolute value will turn this negative into a positive, or 0 for that matter. So removing the absolute value brackets and rewriting the expression as a three-way inequality, we get tan squared theta is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Now since tan squared theta, by virtue of the fact that it's squared, is greater than or equal to zero, we only need to solve the inequality tan squared theta less than one. Taking the square root of both sides, tan theta itself can be negative since when we square it, it could become positive or zero. So again, tan squared theta less than one, taking the square root of both sides, turns it into a three-way inequality. We have tan theta greater than negative one but less than one. Now the values of theta where tan theta is equal to negative one and one are negative pi over four and pi over four respectively. If we consider the graph of y equals tan theta, it's monotonic increasing in that interval. So taking inverse tan of all three terms of this three-way inequality, inverse tan of negative one is negative pi over four, inverse tan of one is pi over four, so we get theta greater than negative pi over four, but less than pi over four. Therefore, the limiting sum exists in the interval theta greater than negative pi over four, but less than pi over four.